So here is the video on the golf cart renovation project. So I just want to do a, an update on where we are. We're pretty much completed at this time until spring when I could just wash her down and kind of detail it up. But other than that, we've done quite a bit. We had this com completely torn down. Um, you could check out our other videos, uh, which kind of go through all the removal and the sanding down. And we, we wrapped our liner, the whole exterior. Um, I went through the entire engine. Uh, did all the maintenance on it, change all the fluids, filters, whatnot, and got it all back together. Uh, I'll just kind of do a little walk around. So one thing we have on there is the, of course, huge light bar, which is really nice to have. I mean, uh, when we're driving around on our property and just messing around at night, I mean, this thing is super bright. I just put in a switch here for it. So as you can see, it, it's pretty, uh, it lights up quite a bit. So um, we went and cleaned up all the trim too. So not just uh, Raptor liner, the body, but I went ahead and painted all the, um, pieces of trim that were just sort of dull or faded. Um, the biggest addition to this is actually the brand new seat. So I found a seller that makes, uh, full replacement seats for these carts, um, all different models and makes. So I was able to find the ones for this specific cart. And these things are, I mean worth every bit of penny I spent on. I will say they were about 350 bucks for um, the entire uh, seat replacement. So that's, you know, the bottom and the backrest, but it does come with, um, you know, brand new plywood foam seats. Um, you know, it, it's really, really good quality. I'm happy with them. I think it was called uh, cool cart parts on eBay. So definitely recommend them if you need seats. Um, it sh I think by the time I paid, they shipped out within like a week or so and got here pretty quick. And like I said, they're in awesome condition. They have, you know, all of the, um, they really did it right. They even put like the retaining nuts into the plywood, ready to go. Everything was completely lined up. So the screws went in perfect. So again, very happy with that purchase. Um, we did have to also replace this shift knob here because this was completely stripped out um, from the original one. So that was a, a cheap part to replace. Um, we do have the steel bed that's on this. As you can see, it's just dirty. So that's one thing in the spring that I want to do is just power wash this and maybe just recoat it. Um, but other than that, it's completely back together. I'm excited to kind of, I did take it for a test drive um, around the block and it was really cold out. So just a quick little ride, but it ran really good. Um, like I said, it went through the whole engine, um, replaced all the fuel lines and whatnot, fuel filter. So this thing, I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get a bunch more years out of it. Uh, definitely needed a, a makeover. Um, it, it had fully, completely bent suspension and everything from the kids running into a fence and kind of causing quite a bit of damage to it so all that stuff's fixed now and um that's pretty much it so uh check out the videos that we made of the full teardown of it and don't forget to like subscribe and turn your notifications on if you haven't for the next video see you guys